Professor Linnell Brown, Chapter 10, Section 1, Take 1 in 5. This lesson defines liabilities and illustrates how to journalize the issuance and payment of notes. Current liabilities is debt that a company owes that is expected to be paid within a year or less. Accounts payable is a current liability. Accounts payable transactions are purchases made on account. An account is when a company purchases a product or service but does not pay cash up front. Instead, they are invoiced and they pay at a later time. For most companies, accounts payable is the largest current liability. Long-term liabilities are debt that is paid back in installments or periodic payments. An installment note due in a year or less are classified as current liabilities. Installment obligations that last longer than one year are classified as long-term liabilities. Notes may be issued to purchase merchandise or other assets. Notes can also be issued by creditors to satisfy an account payable balance. Let's look at an example. Nature Sunshine Company issued a 90-day 12% note for $1,000 on August 1, 2015 to Murray Company for a $1,000 overdue account. The entry to record the issuance of the note will be a debit to accounts payable for $1,000 and a credit to notes payable for $1,000. This entry takes the $1,000 that Sunshine Company owes Murray Company and moves it from accounts payable to notes payable. This gives Sunshine more time to pay the amount due and Murray benefits because they will also receive interest. When the note matures, Sunshine owes Murray Company $1,000 plus $30 in interest. Interest is calculated by taking the amount of the note, which is $1,000, and multiplying it by the 12% interest rate, then by 90 days, and then dividing that number by 360. The journal entry to record the payment on the note on the date of maturity will be a debit to notes payable of $1,000 and a debit to interest expense of $30 and a credit to cash for the full amount paid, which is $1,030. A company may also borrow from a bank by issuing a note. Let's look at an example. Assume that on September 19th, Iceberg Company borrowed cash from First National Bank by issuing a $4,000 90-day 15% note to the bank. The entry to record the issuance of the note and the cash proceeds is a debit to cash of $4,000. This is due to the fact that the bank will actually issue Iceberg a check for the amount of the loan. The entry also includes a credit to notes payable of $4,000, which will be debt or liability that Iceberg owes the bank. On the due date of the note, which is December 18th, Iceberg Company owes First National Bank $4,000 plus the interest of $150. The interest is calculated by multiplying the amount of the note, which is $4,000, by the 15% interest rate and then multiplying it by the number of days, which is 90. The last step is to divide the total by 360. The entry to record the payment of the note when it The entry to record the payment of the note when it matures will be a debit to notes payable of $4,000, a debit to interest expense for $150, and a credit to the cash account of $4,150. In some cases, a discount note may be issued rather than an interest-bearing note. A discounted note has the following characteristics. One, the interest rate on the note is called the discount rate. Two, the amount of interest called a discount is computed by multiplying the discount rate times the face amount of the note. Three, the debtor or borrower receives the face amount of the note less the discount called the proceeds. Four, the debtor must repay the face amount of the note on the due date. Let's look at an example. Assume that on August 10th, Cary Company issues a $20,000 90-day discount note to Western National Bank. 
the discount rate is 15% and the amount of the discount is $750, which is calculated by taking $20,000 and multiplying it by 15%, multiplying it by 90, and then dividing it by 360. The entry to record the proceeds of the amount received by Carey Company will be a debit to the cash account for $19,250, a debit to interest expense of $360, and a credit to notes payable for $20,000. With the discount note, the interest or discount is deducted immediately from the amount of funds given to the borrower. In this example, they do not receive $20,000 in cash. Instead, they receive $20,000 minus the discount of $360. When the note matures and is paid, Carry Company will debit the notes payable account $20,000 and credit the cash account $20,000, which includes the proceeds of $19,250 and the discount rate of $360.